and welcome back. This is part two of my milliamp meter projects. This is the uh, digital edition. And uh, let me just show you what I got, all the pieces. So, we have uh, binding posts. Cradle for the uh, nine volt battery. One switch, single pole, single throw. These are a lot more difficult than uh, you'd expect that I could get on eBay. <laughs> it, was, it was very difficult to find this, but push on, push off, push on, push off. They were hard to find. So I got one of those. And then here is the brains of the operation. This is the five digit zero to 3 amp. Pretty cool uh, little module. I think it was about uh, six dollars on eBay. Everything here came from the uh, slow boat from China. Here is my mock-up. Unfortunately I had this box around sitting around just looking for something to do and then this idea popped in my head about the milliamp meter and uh, I found this case that perfectly matches up so while I was waiting for that frickin case to show up I could at least uh, have this mock-up and have an idea as to what I was going to do and what to order so we can see here I've got the uh, spot where the uh, display is going to go, binding posts, and then the on-off button. So it'll all be in one box, and this is the box. So it's actually a nice little box. Comes with some uh, weather stripping as well. And got the four screws, and then there is some uh, mounting holes. And in my case here, I will uh, be mounting this 9 volt cradle onto one of those holes. And then this will be the face. So, since I'm a right-handed person, that's where I'm going to be putting the switch on, off, on, off. Okay, so that's the master plan. Let me uh, start with the cutouts. Okay, got it marked up. Let's uh, start making some cuts. Oh crap, I had to uh, widen out the uh, binding posts and I was using a drill press and I didn't have it in a uh, vise. I was just holding it and it jumped on me and prick, pissed. So it's still pretty sturdy there. I'm, not, I'm gonna see if I can maybe uh, use some kind of filler in there and just bridge that gap it's it's like I say it's pretty sturdy and uh, that might uh, be just part of the uh, initial prototype issues that you encounter the next thousand that won't happen but this first one here I'll see what I can do otherwise looks like I gotta order another one so let me see what I can do not happy about that. Well, I got some good news. I was able to uh, find the piece that broke off. And uh, I can uh, epoxy that back in there. So 
sorry, it's hard to, hard to do that with one hand on the camera. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, epoxy that piece back in place. Of course, I'll have to re-drill that hole a little bit. So hopefully uh, I can get this uh, back on track. Okay, let's see how it turns out. There you have it. What do you think? I was uh, able to recover from some of the damage I did uh, accidentally with uh, the construction of uh, this, you know, drilling the holes and having it uh, flake off and stuff like that. Uh, lesson learned. But uh, I was able to epoxy the piece back on and uh, basically as being number one prototype, I uh, think this uh, is acceptable and uh, that should uh, should do her. I'm not sure if I'll be building a number two or number 1000 but uh, right now this number one uh, turned out okay. Let me uh, just pop those screws and uh, let me show you what I got on the inside. Okay, so there's a power source. 9 volt battery. That's a, a single pole, single throw switch. So one thing that is missing, I plan on uh, putting in a fuse here as well too, and that just hasn't arrived from eBay yet. But uh, I'll be doing that at a later date. So this will be fused along with uh, my uh, meter I had in part one. Uh, I have a fuse for that as well too, so uh, I will have both the units fused. So right now this is uh, not 100% complete, so I didn't uh, shrink wrap that, which I will do. And I uh, just made it easier so that I can easily break it apart and put that fuse in line. So let me put this back together. And uh, let's take it down to my workbench and hook it, hook it up to a uh, radio. And uh, let's see how the uh, how it lights up. Well, there it is, and all its glory lit up. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm hooked up to the uh, TRC-457. I'm uh, measuring the uh, final bias. Should be around 15 milliamp. Let's uh, key the mic up. And let's see what we get. Pretty damn good. I'm liking that. I set all those uh, values earlier using the analog meter here, so I've got a, uh, a 1 and a 1A for uh, measuring milliamp current on these old rigs, and uh, being that this is a 3 amp unit here, I'll be able to measure uh, anything that's out there as well too for, uh, well, ham gear, nothing commercial, but anything up to 3 amps, so there we have it, simple projects completed. I just have to uh, get the fuses still, still waiting on that. And uh, I'll uh, put some labels on these guys, but otherwise, uh, done. Thanks for watching. See ya.